Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading simply because you guys have been asking for them numerous times and I am so ready to get back into my regular routine after the hurricane and everything that hit. Thank you guys so much for sending the love. I had very minimal damage here on my property and my mom had minimal damage on her property so I feel very very grateful. Um, I shared a little bit of the background of that on my personal YouTube or my personal Instagram about like the history of the area and the protection over that area. So anybody that has received any damage, you guys, I have candles lit for you right now as we speak. And I'm hoping that your life is able to be restored back to a, no a sense of normal. Having said that, that kind of inspired today's video. As I was meditating after everything that happened, after my mom helped me set everything back up in my home and make sure that the yard and the chickens and everything was good, I went outside to the backyard and I just sat and I grounded myself. The last 24 hours were so intense for so many people and I felt the word restoration deep within my spirit. Not only did it make sense for the current circumstances that we, meaning like my mom and I had just experienced, but also for circumstances that have been going on here, period. Things have been so drastically crazy here with the collective. I know that you guys are feeling that too. So having said that with all these retrogrades, I wanted to do a pick a card reading for you in order to see what is currently being restored within your life because not only is this something that I would love to see happen, but it's something that spirit spoke directly into my into my into my soul, into my energy. And I knew that this was gonna be the next message that was gonna be shared with you guys. So go ahead and take a moment just to sit, to be still and to connect with your own angels and your own guides. I did set a blessing over the cards and over the Oracle decks that we're working with and just over the entire space as a whole. So I'm not gonna do that publicly here today. We do have three piles to choose from. I know this might be backwards for you guys, but this is pile number one, this is pile number two, and this is pile number three. Feel free to use your discernment as far as what it is that you are seeing, what you're feeling here. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, just dive right into your reading, okay? All right, so if you chose pile number one, these are your Oracle cards, and I'm gonna put them right over here. I will be shuffling from this tarot deck here and just allow my intuition to speak to me per use as it likes to do. This card definitely wants to, okay. So the first card to jump out is two of pentacles, five of pentacles. I did see the two of swords just now. What I'm hearing is I feel like Okay, interesting. I just had a vision of WWE, I think is what it's called. Like the fighting channel or the fighting, I honestly, it's like play fighting me, but whatever. Um, the wrestlers and stuff. And I get it, like they train really hard their bodies and stuff, I totally understand. Um, but I just got a vision of someone in the ring. It's interesting too that I even started off by saying that because it's like, I feel like the person, you who chose this pile are some, is someone who has really, like you've been in the ring, like you've been in the fighting ring and it's something that you train for. It's something that you've, I don't know if you've, like it's something that you, uh, I'm hearing the words goal oriented, like you have a specific goal that you've been working towards. Um... <laughs> But some, and sometimes you know that you're, I'm getting the sense of like, you know that you're strong, you know that you're capable, you know that, I I, I also heard, um, I'm hearing a worthy opponent. So I just heard you met your match. So it feels like this, if you chose this pile with these words that spirit is speaking to me, it feels like you kind of have been in the battlefield a little bit, trying to defend yourself, trying to push trying to make yourself known, trying to make yourself, I just heard to have something be available to you. So you might be trying to fight for resources or trying to fight for something here, or maybe you actually are a wrestler. 
I feel like life has kind of like flipped you upside down. Um, literally lift you up, like flipped you upside down and had you pinned down. And it feels like a lot of people might have been actually like watching this. Or you feel like your spirit guides are watching and like no one intercepts and no one does anything. It's like you have to like find your way out of it using the training that you were given. It's I don't know why WWE is coming through, but it's it's actually a really good metaphor for the energy that's coming through. I feel like you're waiting for something that like ding, 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 like kind of hit the hit the ground and just kind of free you up. But you're a fighter and you don't want to give up. I'm also getting a vision of an alligator just kind of sunk its teeth in and just holding on, holding on. I'm seeing that your energy is just really sunk something. You've sunk your teeth into something or something. It's not, I was going to say like maybe something sunk its teeth into you, but you actually have your teeth sunk in and it's to the point where you're holding on like all of your strength that you're holding on. I just had a vision of a latte, specifically a latte. It's it's giving me like Starbucks vibes, but like a medium to a large latte. So it's like a lot that this person is drinking or that you're drinking in order to stay focused, keep stay clear headed, stay level minded. You know, maybe it's not that you're actually drinking coffee, um, but you're doing things in order to make sure that you're sharp. I just heard you're like regulating. So you might be doing something to kind of like regulate in order to give yourself like a fighting chance and spirit is telling you to hold like you're holding on like spirit is talking about this the fact that you're holding on to something it doesn't feel bad it doesn't feel like you're holding on to something bad from the past it feels like you're fighting for something that you know that you're worth or that you want you're fighting to advance you're start you're fighting to get ahead spirit what does this have to do with restoration Yeah, it's funny, Two of Swords. Two of Swords, Page of Cups, Ten of Cups here. These are cards that show that actually, you know what's happening? I feel like your energy is about to be renewed. If you were someone who's feeling like you're about to give up and you're really starting to question if you can make it to the finish line, if you can win this battle, if you can fight the good fight, if you if it's going to ever happen spirit is saying like you're going to get a next wind uh, it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air for you where you're going to be like all of a sudden you're just going to gather all of your strength and put in one big like smackdown like honestly you get you put in all of your strength and you just like whop like ready i don't know if, if that if that's making any sense you guys for some of you guys you're really hoping for it to be finished and finalized Spirit is really telling me, like, I'm always going to be honest with you. Um, Spirit is not giving a hardcore promise that it's going to be the final, like, that you're going to, within, like, the next six weeks or so, that it's going to be, like, done and you're going to win. It's just saying that you're going to get a, 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 a second wind so that you can actually fight through something. Some of you guys are... Some of you guys are saying like, Jess, I don't know why I'm hearing like the lungs. So like you guys are like, Jess, I've been holding my breath for so long. So like maybe you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Like you're just kind of waiting to, when when is it going to be safe for me to come up and take a fresh, a deep breath of fresh air? Like I need it. And spirit is like, there's going to be a brief, there's going to be a moment. That's what's going to be restored in your life where you can actually come up. And your energy, if, if this is someone who's been fighting the good fight for quite some time, you're going to actually be, your energy itself is going to be restored. You're going to feel it like a surge of energy, which actually makes a lot of sense that that cup of coffee was the thing that is that I saw. I'm not saying that you guys are going to drink coffee and get energy because this is the type of energy that, or this is the type of reading and the type of vibe that like, it's not going to come from an artificial or something outside. It's gonna be like literally spirit comes through and breathes like fight back in you and all of a sudden you're like, I don't even know where this came from, but you're like out of nowhere you just flip back up and you just, I don't know, just knock them down. It actually feels really good. Some of you guys have really been fighting, fighting or pushing in, in your goals. Something that is that you've been goal oriented to, something that you've been locked in on. And you're just like getting to the point where I don't know if I can carry on. I don't know if I can continue. I don't know if this is ever going to happen. 
and you're just, you're holding on, but you feel it's the last bit of strength and something within you. It's like spirit comes through and just comes in and gives you all, like everyone. It's like the person who miraculously turns around, like the whole globe, the whole planet is like, how did you build up after that? How were you able to stand? Like they were, we thought you were done. Like we thought it was over. And somehow something just comes back up and says, no, King of Pentacles. So this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus type of energy. This could have to do with your business. It could be a business that you feel like is tanking. And then all of a sudden something comes through or you have this one idea. Yeah, Sun card. And it literally gives you life. It gives you happiness. It gives you joy. It gives you optimism. And everyone, like people who are like, yo, they're done. They're done. Now all of a sudden they're up and they're cheering for you because they're like, holy cow. Like, how did this person come back to life? Like, how did this person come back to life? How did they make it happen? Yeah, King of Cups. I'm telling you, you guys, it's going to be your feeling. It's going to be this feeling. Yeah, the devil. Talk to me about the devil card. It's like you literally think that you're in the pen. You literally think that this is it. Like you're just going to get sunk. Some of you guys really are um, working on clearing out your energy. Yeah, my loves. Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, and Four of Cups. Some of you guys are, are working on clearing out or you're being called right now to help. This is a key that they're giving you right now. You're going to need to clear out some of your energy. Um, I don't know if this is like removing certain toxic addictions, codependency, toxic patterns, toxic diets, something that makes you impacts your vitality and impacts your strength. Some of you guys are going to be pushing with the fight. Five of Wands, you guys, this is the fighter card. This is about I'm not giving up. Right? So this is like, let's say it might be counterintuitive where you you feel like in order to gain my strength, I have to push more strength. And I know it actually is kind of giving me like runner's high, like a person who feels like they're at that last one that they can't. I've heard about this, you guys. I'm not a runner, so I can't relate. But it's like that person... The only reason why I know about this is because I saw it on Family Guy. Um, Brian, the dog, he started he wanted to like start running or something. And then right when he had no strength within him, it's like his body, this like fight or flight, something like locked in or this euphoria within his body, just kind of like the, the chemicals or the hormones in the body just surged, surging. And all of a sudden he just hit that high and just finished, like finished. So there's something here about pushing past this in order to get to the goal and you will get to it. It's like you using your, it seems counterintuitive because you're like, Jess, I have no left strength left in me or I have no more fight or I have nothing more to give. And then all of a sudden something surges. That's what's being restored right now is literally your energy. Let's see your Oracle cards. Compassion. Yeah, it says, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So for a lot of you guys right now, it's almost as if like you softening up. It's like when it's, I think about a gator, right? And it's funny because I have an alligator here, but think about an alligator when, and this is a very morbid example, but when they sink their teeth into something, right? It's like, if, if you try to catch a gator, I don't know if you've ever seen it, I have, but when a gator, when a gator gets caught, it holds, it's quiet, it's it's like, hold its teeth, like it holds, all of its strength is, is locked in. And instead of like, there's this brief moment where all of its, it, it's like this rest that happens, that gator is actually building up all of its energy and then all of a sudden it like starts thrashing like crazy. And people who are holding onto the gator, they can say like, yo, this gator is building up strength, they can feel it happening. That's what I'm getting with this whole compassion card. It's the quiet in between, right? It's the it's the silence in between the storm or after the storm or right in the middle of the storm, the, the, the hurricane eye. And you think that's like everything gets com compassionate, everything, everything gets soft, everything gets still. And then all of a sudden there's something that comes through. Let's see what we have here. We have thief. We have toil and labor. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And we have community. This is literally the vibe that it is I'm saying. 
community is giving me the, the, the circle, the collective that's around you, that's rooting for you, cheering for you, and even people who want to see you lose. They're rooting against you. Then we have toil and labor, and this has been the energy. You've really been toiling. You've really been laboring. You've really been putting in all of your energy. In fact, a part of you feels like, uh, in, within your soul, like enough is enough. When is it gonna pay off? And the thief is literally what is taking your energy, what is taking your resources. So these cards, I actually delegated them as like what is being taken away from you that needs to be restored. And this is exactly it. It's the, the group, the collective consciousness that's around you for good or for bad. Let's see what else we have here. Assurance. So this is the card that is literally giving you assurance that says, listen, keep holding on keep holding on that your your strength is going to be restored it is going to grow again i don't know if you guys can see this but it's like she's holding this seed right here and it starts to grow and it's literally that push through the dirt it's that push through when you're like i never thought that i would be able to emerge again i never thought that i would ever be ever be able to see life or see light again or see this come back and it does somehow miraculously miraculously it really does Another thing that stands out to me are the phases of the moon on top of her forehead. And this is just showing to me, like, things do come in cycles. And every cycle within your life has to be honored because it does serve a purpose. And you can hear it again and again and again. And know that that is the, the case. But when you're in it, it can be really hard for you to accept and surrender to and understand that this is what's going to happen next. Because your own faith can be tested. But spirit is really standing by and saying, listen, listen, have it. Guys, I couldn't make this up. We have rebirth. Rebirth. You, your energy, something is coming up from the ashes, rising up from the ashes. It doesn't even logically make sense. Maybe it was considered dead. Maybe it was considered dormant. Maybe it was a career that's completely washed away. Or you think that it's completely over. But for whatever reason, it's coming back to life. It's coming back to life. It's being restored. It's being made new. Sacred space. I love that. Create an altar or visit a power place in order to connect with the divine. Basically, what I'm seeing here is that like sometimes right before something is about to be defeated, spirit comes through and pulls that person out of their logical brain, out of their emotional brain, and even outside of their bodies into the sacred space. This I'm going to call it a canyon where they are completely restored and their energy comes back and they're renewed. It's like being pulled out of or having an out-of-body experience and all of a sudden when you come back into your body from that sacred space that's from the spiritual realms, it's, it's like it defies all logic because it's like spirit comes through and awakens something. Some of you guys may also want to visit an altar or work with... Um, resurrection like the rose of resurrection that is also something too that i can see benefiting you and you putting that at your altar having a big bowl of water like fresh water um and having that energy being reawakened if there's um if it's a business thing or a business plan or business idea that you have putting coins in the bottom of a clear glass jar or clay jar and then Putting the res, uh, Rose of Jericho in there, it will help to bring that business back to life. If there's um, energy that needs to be renewed within the home, allow the Resurrection Rose to kind of bloom. After it's bloomed, use that water in order to wash down your floors, wash, wipe down your, your walls, all of those things in order to bring the energy in order to help it back up, okay? Separation. And then we have Soulmate. So it's very possible that for a lot of you guys, you were separated from your soulmate or separated from a really strong connection. And it's really been, you just think like, this is it. There's just no way that we're ever gonna come back. There's just no way that this could ever come back to life. And whatever reason, when you let it go and you just let it be still, something, and you go to your sacred space and you just pray and leave it to the universe, there's life that's brought back. If this is not an actual soulmate, this is a thing that is meant for your soul, your, your soulmate in business, your soulmate in, in your health, your soulmate. It's like something that's meant to be that comes back to life and things just seem really desolate. Like it seems like it could never happen. And all of a sudden there's a spirit of restoration. It comes back to life. Okay, I love that. Let's see what cards here. Seven of Pentacles. Literally, guys, remember the seed that we were talking about? When you plant that seed, you think... 
you know, I trust and I know that this will grow, but like, will it? Will it come back to life? And Seven of Pentacles is really taking a step back. Remember, you guys, with the with the card compassion here, it's in that sacred space and assurance. It's like you knowing within your soul and your spirit. You may doubt or you may wonder how is this going to happen, but it's that taking a step back and the rebuilding of your energy that somehow spirit just comes forward and pushes forward and something comes back to life. Something gets restored. Something is renewed. King of Cups. This has a lot to do with your deep intuitive feelings, your deep intuitive knowledge. Like somehow, some way, you know. Somehow, some way, you know. It goes so deep for you. King of Cups knows intuitively that there's a soulmate, knows that there's a connection, knows that there's a purpose. Guys, now that I'm saying this too, look, there's a starfish here, which is literally this sign of rebirth, regeneration, re uh, resurrection, things coming back after they've been cut, after they've been separated, after they've been disconnected. I couldn't make this up. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. This is exactly clarification and confirmation. It was the end. And somehow you think this is it. You think that there is no, this is rock bottom. I can't. Something about letting go in that moment literally brings it to life. And it is completely restored. So, my loves, wow. <laughs> I literally love this message so much. Um, that has been really powerful. I mean, very, very clear. To me, there's no questioning that or wondering, like, if, if that, the, I mean, that message spoke for itself. So having said that, you guys, I'm going to move on to pile number two. I'm really curious to see what pile number two energy is being restored in their life. Okay. Okay, pile number two. Your cards are here on the left, my left. And I'm going to shuffle to see what messages Spirit has for you now. Whoa, that really wanted to come out. Interesting. And it's so funny. I was just about to say someone grew up and then we have the world card here. So I'm getting a big, 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 big striking. I just heard striking resemblance. I heard the word striking resemblance. Um, someone is mirroring a, a, a father figure or a very mature figure. Someone I'm almost getting like a, also a leader in power. I'm also interesting. I'm getting, I heard the words governor or mayor or president, something that's presidential. We have knight of cups. We have knight of wands. Someone it's interesting. Okay. With the world card here and the emperor, the first thing I'm thinking about and the first thing I'm hearing is a very specific message is someone in government or private policy or private p practice. So this could be a doctor. This could be at an acupuncture doctor. This could be a leader in healing, a leader in a, like something in leadership. Some Someone, it's interesting because it might be very similar to a, a pattern that a masculine energy has already taken. Um, but I'm also seeing that for this for a lot of you guys, you're mirroring someone. There's a you guys have a striking resemblance for with someone in a in a position of supreme power, or something that's being restored in your life is very similar to, um, like someone that you're watching. They're growing up. Like they there's this level of like growing up. There's this level level of maturity here. I don't know what this has to do with restoration, but let's go ahead and ask. What does this have to do with restoration? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, the Tower card, and the Temperance card. Seven of Pentacles, the Tower card, and the Temperance card. If you guys hear any noise in the background, just keep in mind that everyone's outside right now kind of picking up the pieces of broken trees and um, stuff that's kind of like blown from backyards and stuff. So people are clearing that out and there it can be a little loud. And also the winds haven't totally calmed down yet. I'm feeling like this person, whatever this is, has gone through a big, I just heard priceless level up. So even though 
I'm just, I don't know why I'm hearing like someone's grandfather or someone's father being like, I never would have seen, like, I never thought I'd see the day is what I'm hearing. I'd never thought I'd see the day where you would grow up. Uh, this is giving me like divine masculine or someone that someone might be dating, like a man or someone just growing up and, and like maturing and something about them. Like they always saw that they were going to be playboys. They always saw that they were going to be like with the Knight of Cups and with the Knight of Wands, it's like they may date or they may, I don't know, like they might have the potential for something, but there's it's kind of been questionable if they would live up to the, the their potential. And then all of a sudden something happens. I just heard something has, has a meltdown or puts them in crisis especially with the tower card here that makes them mature very fast. It could also, it could be separation. This card is really standing out to me. Seven of wands. They've had to like fight for something. It's, this is very similar to pile number one. Pile number one had to kind of fight as well. Uh, but no, I keep hearing maturation, like maturation, someone who needs to mature, someone who needs to grow up. Um, Interestingly enough, I'm hearing this again. It's kind of similar to pile number one, but this energy is not like pile number one. They're showing me moving from coffee to tea. So maybe this is someone who maybe was under a lot of substances or or like they they, they are changing their diet or reconcile. I'm hearing reconciling their diet or reconcile their lifestyle. And all of a sudden they're just not detoxing, but they're like, all of a sudden they just stop cold turkey and they like, it's like they literally completed the cycle in their life. And when they do that, let's say someone comes to you and they say like, listen, I'm just gonna stop playing video games. And you're like, what? It's like their time is like, just, they're like, I don't know, man. Like I just hear them being like, I don't know. Like I just don't, maybe this is someone who stops smoking like cigarettes or weed or something like they just I, they're just like I don't know I don't know man I just keep hearing I don't know like one day they just woke up <laughs> what does this have to do with restoration or maybe this is you guys or maybe this is a very specific message some of you guys just did not know interesting queen of wands and the four of cups is here yeah someone just realizes like I don't want this anymore. Like, I don't want to live this life anymore. I don't want, you know what I just heard? Okay, I just heard the age of Aquarius. So like spirit just said that. So this is someone starting on a new venture in their life, a new phase, a new stage within their life. Something has been completed and I'm hearing they're carrying forward and they're carrying themselves forward into the next chapter, the next journey. And it's like literally like, it's like book number two. So it's it's really interesting. It's like, you know when you have chapters, but the chapters are kind of completing what has already been told? This is like a person who's like, okay, there's 15 chapters within this book before we start at chapter 16, but chapter 16 through chapter 32 is gonna be a totally different leveling up. So there's like a time, like like a, a jump in time, like a time lapse. Whoever this is, they've matured a lot. Um, and basically what is being restored in their life is not the old, it's a new cycle, a completely new cycle. Same person, but somehow they're just totally different. You're, if you're, it's just, uh, that's the message actually, you guys, I don't, I don't even get anything more from this. Like even spirits, like don't even try. Something is just completely cycled through. It's almost like this person's like, I don't know why I'm getting like cells in the body or skin in the body, which is giving me back to like doctor vibes. So I don't, maybe someone is like, their health is being renewed. That's a very specific message for someone. But for the most part, I'm feeling like a huge maturate maturation I don't know if I'm saying that correctly queen of wands just jumped out again any last messages spirit I don't know why I just heard dragon fruit you guys and using dragon fruit in smoothies yeah nine of cups something about I don't know why I'm just hearing like a smoothie bowl too I don't know why um 
I don't know, this could be like something that teaches you to like take better care of yourself. Some of you guys actually escaped from death. Like you feel like you were like right on death's doorstep and like somehow you, you did better. Or like sometimes, somehow your life circumstances like just helped you to, to change. I don't know, or something just ended. Like literally something just completely ended. Interesting. Let's go ahead and look into the tarot or the oracle cards. Let me put these. I don't know. There's not much more messages. You know, I feel like everyone's going to have a different story to tell. So I don't even feel like shuffling too much on that. Let's go ahead and look at the oracle, shall we? First card we have here is, look at this, patience. Interesting. Pause before you take action. Trust the divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. This is the crazy thing because it's it's actually giving me like someone who's been immature and they've been playing around. And then like, it's like everybody around is just kind of patient and they're like, I never thought I'd see the day. And then all of a sudden the day comes and you just wake up and you're like awakened. Like what's being restored is the next cycle in your life, the next stage within your life. What is it that got broke? Wow, lovers false person and judication. See what I'm saying? Judication is like under the leadership of a judge. This is kind of like the emperor here. This is you understanding and receiving judgment, not in like a bad way, but you just realize like, it's like someone wakes up, someone wakes up from something. If you're waiting for, if this is you waiting for a person to just like accept their truth or grow up it's not that they were being inauthentic because that's not the case but it's like they just had to like or maybe like through judgment through or not through judgment but through this false person or maybe there's like a like scandal some type of scandal some type of falsehoods or like i don't know something that just really awakened them and all of a sudden they're just like i can't do this anymore or maybe they met so many fake people and every single one of those fake people, it's like they couldn't, they would like look to them for something and they just couldn't find them, couldn't find it within that person. Or maybe this is you. Like maybe you just realize like you had a lot of false people around you. Like a lot of people that you couldn't trust. Or maybe the people that you've been patient with, you're like, I just don't know if it's ever gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, you know, then you have the lover's card here and you guys like finally come together. Maybe it's love kind of awakens someone into becoming the best version of themselves. Like it's like final, like something gets finalized. Wow, the Virgin Mary of miracles. For those of you guys that don't know about the story of Virgin Mary, she pretty much was just like a virgin and all of a sudden she got pregnant. <laughs> and she's like, how? She's carrying the the baby of, from from God. Like everyone's like, judging her that's the other thing too maybe there's some type of judgment here like you mean to tell me mary that all of a sudden you're pregnant with the son of god you but you didn't have sex <laughs> like imagine she probably had a lot of judgment there so maybe there's some people who are just like i i mean that's originally what it was i said it was like people who were like thinking like i just never thought i'd see the day like this person is just this just who they are just who they are and then all of a sudden miraculously they just wake up and they're focused literally all of a sudden their focus just totally shifts. Totally shifts. You know what's funny too, guys? Um, she has a bow and arrow and while we were waiting for the hurricane to come in, the wind started to pick up. I was um, practicing my archery. Fun facts. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. I just honestly feel like things start to, it's that pullback, guys. It's that pullback. And then all of a sudden when you let it go, it just shoots right forward and it has focus and it has direction and it has movement and it's just going forward. It's going straight forward. So yeah, divine passion. 
Again, this is like an explosion of something happening crazy. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's truest desire? I honestly feel like whatever judgment happened here for this pile, it really helped someone to understand their purpose here. Even Mary, she knew like when something happened crazy, it leveled her up from being very innocent to being mature, from being a virgin to being a mother immediately. That's what it is that I'm seeing. And all of a sudden her focus was in protecting and carrying the, the son of God with passion and divine passion here. It's like, what is my heart's truest desire? Why am I here? And it's like, you go from just kind of going with the flow of things to being like, this is what I want. This is who I am. This is what, like, this is what it's about. Compassion, release judgments. Wow, guys. That's the other thing too. It's like people judging being like, are they ever going to level up? Or maybe this is what you believe other people are saying about you like is are they ever gonna find their purpose are they ever gonna stop like maybe you have like a dream that just seems so practically impossible is what is I'm hearing and like but you believe it and then for whatever reason something just miraculous conception I don't know release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone exactly wow reconciliation Someone from your past is returning to your life. I wouldn't be surprised. Then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. These are just like words of confirmation, honestly, to just kind of like help carry you right now. Yep, two of swords. You guys, you'd be like, I never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. Yep, three of swords. A lot of like seven of cups. So seven of cups, seven, um, seven of cups, three of cups, and two of, two of swords two of swords this is like you just never would have seen it coming like you never and I feel like with three of swords it's this judgment that awakens something to come back or to wake up or to like be renewed in some way yeah someone from your past is returning to your life so maybe it could be someone that you felt like you lost for a lot of you guys you might have like lost a, a very strong connection something that just really bruised your heart to the next level like love that you probably never even knew that you would ever feel or hope that you never thought that you would feel and you just feel like it's gone and like how could this ever happen like I never saw it coming I never thought that it would be able to come and some some way somehow it just steps forward if you're not if you don't trust this process right now this card is literally just saying like seriously please just trust because it will happen I feel it all right my loves that's pile number three I love that reading so so much I'm going to set up for pile number, did I say pile number three? I mean pile number two. I'm going to set up for pile number three. Also, this feels really good just to like be back shuffling. My mom and I did, not for each other, but um, like a tarot reading when we were together, but we were just mostly talking about the Orishas and like magic and elements when the storm was rolling through. Um, yeah, it was pretty dope. Oh, the reason why I was saying that is because I feel like I haven't shuffled tarot in forever, but it's only been like 24 hours. Anyways, pile number three. Let's see what the vibe is. What is being restored in your life? Interesting. I just got a vision of a recipe book. I love how quickly my visions come through these days. They literally just pop right in. Anyways, I see like, it's interesting. I'm seeing like, This is like, okay, there's two different things here. There's a souffle, which takes time, and there's also a stew that takes time, but there's a lot of different things that, okay, yep. Page of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. Someone has really been putting the work in to something, and I don't know, I'm, I don't know, Page of Pentacles is giving me a vision of like yeast, like putting something in to make it rise. Um... Eight of Pentacles is kneading it. So I don't know if someone's making bread or making something from scratch. This is standing out to me. Seven of Cups. There's all these different options, all these different things in this recipe that is that you're making here. It's it's getting like, it's every, actually it's not just one thing. It's a bunch of different things that you are baking, that you are creating. All of it's from scratch. You're not taking in from any external thing you're doing it all on your own king of wands and the wheel of fortune 
you are building a lot of different things, guys. Like you are, and now that I think about it, I think every single pile had like fixed energy here, like energy that you can't avoid. It's very faded. It's very karmic. Every path that you take is going to lead you to the same outcome. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Um, Spirit, give me more insight. This card. Yeah, chariot. It's things are moving. Things are advancing. Things are heating up. Something about spirit is using baking as an example. So I don't know if some of you guys are actually bakers or cooking something up or your business, multiple business ideas or multiple projects or multiple things within your life that give it substance. Actually, spirit is saying that it's not just one thing. It's all of these very important pieces that help to make this meal. They're making, remember how I said earlier, I was like, is it souffle or is it a stew? It's like literally all of these different options and things for you to choose from. It's almost giving me like Thanksgiving dinner. I'm hearing that you've come a long, you've come a long way. You've come a long way and there's, you're really trying to build the perfect life for yourself. And by perfect, I don't mean like picture perfect, like everything at, but you're putting in a lot of intention behind and you, what you're doing is so different. It's so different. And the thing that you're creating here, not just anybody can sit at this table or not everybody should be sitting at this table and partaking in this. This is very special because you're really, I'm seeing someone like kneading the bread. And the thing is, it's like this bread is not just like something that they got at Publix or something that they got at the grocery store. It's something that they themselves built from scratch. I wouldn't be surprised if the grain that was used for this bread was something that was like passed on from generations from seeds that were planted from your grandmother, your grandfather. It's like something that gets passed on, passed on and so much effort gets put into it. Spirit is saying that what's being restored in your life is who, this is very specific, but who gets a seat at the table? And your ability to like, I you're gonna have, this is a very specific message, when the food is being ingested, and I'm telling you guys, this, this food is a metaphor. This food can represent all the different things that you have going on in your life. Whether it be, it's just like all the things, because everything that you do literally feels like it has intention behind it. Like a lot of effort, a lot of energy put behind it, a lot of passion put behind it. It's not just willy nilly. It's something that you've researched. It's something that you've perfected. It's something that you've, you know, you've waited, you've waited and you labored. So spirit is saying like, you're not meant to just like enjoy this meal, this meal or this effort by yourself. It's a whole, there's like an, I don't know if this is like a specific message or if this is a metaphor, but they're saying like, like Thanksgiving dinner where everyone comes together and everybody there would, is going to appreciate all the work and the effort that you've put in. And they're just, it literally is like something that people think about for like the next, not 365 days, but 364, because next year they all come in to contribute or to partake in this, what you've built. Literally, I'm, I don't necessarily see the chariot as like so much you, Although this, to me, this is showing me like how far you'll go the distance for the right thing. This is like people who will come to you or to find or to seek what you have or to put into what you have. If you feel like there's certain parts in your life that you're just like, it's like, where do I find this? Like, I know somewhat of what it is that I want, or you may know exactly what it is that you're looking for. But like, where do I go for that? Like, where can I get that? There's, there might be certain empty spots within you, within your experience right now where you're like, I just don't know like where to get this. Like, I don't want just anything. Like, I don't want just anything. I, if I, it's like, I don't know why spirit is giving me vanilla. Like you could get vanilla extract from extract from like Walmart, Target, anywhere. It'll be like two, $3. But if there's like a specific bourbon vanilla, 
it's like anybody can get the regular vanilla or the imitation vanilla flavoring but like you don't want that you want specific because you know that you 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 deserve the best and you want to give the best there's something specific that spirit is saying that you're looking for that you want and that they want to work with you to get so what's being restored here they're saying you're going to be provided for I don't know why I'm getting this message of like hope. Some of you guys are really starting to question if it'll ever show up, if this can ever happen. Will I ever find what it is that I'm looking for? Will what is looking for me ever find me? That's what's being restored. Yeah. Some of you guys have really been, wow. Guys, look at this. Some of you guys have really been in the dark. This is the hermit card right? As the, I'm sitting in the dark right now because the sun's starting to set. Um, but the hermit card has been sitting in there in the dark and he's been toiling by himself all by himself for the most part, or maybe doing research or just in the zone, or maybe just isolating because nothing, his discernment or her discernment or your discernment has told you that like what is around you is not what you want. So you're just like, well, I'm better off without. So you keep go going, you keep going, you keep going and hoping and waiting and looking and, and expecting. And you start to wonder, am I going to be alone? Is this ever going to show up? Is this, is this ever going to happen? That's the other thing too about the Hermit card is that it's ruled by Virgo. And Virgo is always like, number one, it can overthink and analyze, but it starts to try to like, Put things where they belong that starts to bother the hermit when it can't put things in the right place or if it doesn't make sense or if it doesn't happen that can really mess mess up this energy and you're starting to think like you know i just i'd be better off alone but look you guys you have five of wands and you have three of pentacles three of pentacles is the card of partnership and things coming together five of wands is the ability to fight for what it is that you you think that you want or you feel that you want is there a way that i can turn on this light let's see oh my goodness oh, if you see my butt you're welcome <laughs> i'm just kidding yeah what's being restored is uh i don't want to say your desire to look but you knowing exactly what it is that you want and what it is that you want, finding you or working with you. Three of Pentacles is, again, five, well, Three of Pentacles is the card of collaboration. So if you have something of great value and worth, excuse me, if you have something of great value and worth, it's like you find your unit, you find that, and you build with others, or you build with what you found. Five of Wands is literally the card of competition, but it almost is like, it's. this is giving me almost like, let's say people all put in to like have a, a, not a fight, but like a competition on like who has the best pie or pumpkin pie. And then like someone actually brings in like store-bought pie. It's like the flavors and the level, the lengths that you have gone speak for itself. And it's kind of like a non, like a, like a, it's not a, it's not a debate. Like we know who won. <laughs> like we all know who won. Like we all know who's a good person. We all know who's, you know, what's being restored here is like the level of quality that you have been create, that you have created and who exactly who gets to spend that time with you. Who gets a seat at the table? Yeah, literally, you guys, this is guarding your resources. Three of Swords and Knight of Pentacles is the, the, the card of having straight discernment, of knowing that giving to the wrong people and to the wrong things whittles away your passion and actually makes you want to stop giving the best of yourself or being nice to people or to cook or to share. So that's what's being restored here. Some of you guys are, you've had to remove some people 
and honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, the audacity, the audacity to like bring nothing against store-bought pie because I'm all about pie, period. But the audacity of someone to bring like a store-bought pie to this table when you have literally, I saw someone kneading, and this is again, it's, a, it's an, a metaphor, but like how could you, how could you even think that you could get away and like you literally try to get, get away with murder or to pretend to be something that you weren't in order to get next to someone who actually has what it takes. That's what's being restored here is like a lot of seats are being, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but a lot of seats are being removed. It's like the fact that you felt like you could try and that, and I feel like whoever's getting removed from the table, they actually understand. They're like, well, I honestly, I didn't, I didn't really belong here anyway. Not that they didn't want to belong they do they just don't have what it takes it's like you know that this person is of great value or has a lot to give or if this is like a relationship this is someone who is like the whole package like the whole package and then they kind of accidentally like date around so the hermit card even though the hermit card signifies like being alone sometimes it's you trying to figure out you know through your experiences and understanding this is what i want this is what i don't want but it's like you're you date around to try and find but like it could be someone who's like missing a lot of things or you get closer and closer or it feels like you're getting further and further away I don't know but it's like you 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 can't debate on your worth and your value if you're a person of substance and you know that you're putting the work in if you're not if you are not putting in the work and you're expecting a lot from your partner or from your work or from your career or from whatever, this is spirit saying that it's time for you to restore that passion and to put in exactly the effort that it requires in order for you to get what it is that you want to get. And that might trigger someone or rub someone the wrong way, but th that's the message because there's this level of like the audacity for someone to kind of bring in store-bought pie and be like, Hey, I could win with this. Like, no, you can't. Why would you think that you could? These, this is, if you, <laughs> if you made a pie from scratch and you've been doing this for a long time and it's a family recipe that's been passed on. Wow. Rebirth. Interesting. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. See? Some of you guys are have really, this is a very feminine energy here. That rose just kind of blooming. Some of you guys have really been kind of like giving up on, is it possible for this to come in like, all right guys, you're not going to believe this, but perhaps maybe you will because Mercury retrograde, but um, the video that I originally shared with the message because of the, my camera just kind of cut out. I don't know why when I was editing it, it's just completely gone. Luckily for me, I have the cards that I originally had pulled for you guys just kind of sitting here. Thank goodness. So I'm going to reshare with you the messages that I received. Okay. So the first card, like I was telling you is the card of rebirth. It says reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams and create a new reality. So I already kind of explained how I was feeling with this card, but in addition to that with create a new reality, I really want to share with you that sometimes when you're around people who don't appreciate what you have to give or they don't appreciate your heart, it can make you start to question what can ha <clears throat> what can happen, your worth, your value. I'm almost hearing the word like justice. It kind of like doesn't give you justice. So you just start to feel like, actually, I'm going to use an example. So let's say, let's say you live in a community where you see a lot of hurt and suffering and you, you, when, when, when someone, you know, when something bad happens, you ex you would hope that, or you, the places that you would go in order to get hope, and or I'm sorry, not hope, but to get help, you would hope that they would help. But over time, you start to, let's say if they keep throwing away or discarding you when you go to them for help, you start to lose hope that justice will ever happen. You start to question humanity or 
if things are always going to be kind of hopeless. Sometimes it's just the place that you're in or the circumstances that you've dropped into that make it so that things feel impossible, but they're only impossible there. In other places, maybe if you would go for help, you would start to believe in justice and you would believe in the people that are there that are hired to protect you because over time you see that when you call for help, they listen to your stories, they they listen to what it is that you're that your experience is and they believe you. So you believe in that system and you believe that there's good people out there. It changes everything just by repetitive patterns in your experiences. The strongest person can sometimes believe the worst in humanity or the worst in circumstances because no matter how good their heart is or no matter how high their hopes are, their experiences start to whittle away at what they believe can happen. And this is what spirit is now rebirthing into your existence. By moving certain people and moving out the rotten eggs and the rotten apples and replacing them with empty chairs that are one, that are now are going to be empty, but they're going to be filled with the right people, it's going to help you have renewed faith in life, renewed faith in what can happen, and it's going to create, like it says, a new reality for you because you're going to start believing, because you're going to start finally seeing that good people do exist and good things do happen okay the next card that came out for you guys is the card of flow I found this so interesting because and I'm gonna read this card to you really quickly it says find an easier path forwards surrender the outcome and release your expectations the thing is with this pile and if you chose this pile I really get this strong sense that you're to the point in your journey where you're just like Enough is enough. I entertained people at this level. Now in order for you to meet me, you got to be at this level. Spirit encourages you to set higher expectations, but they don't want your expectations to be so high that no one can, can reach them. Spirit wants you to have people around you that have good and positive intentions and want to pour into you and are quote unquote equally yoked and equal giving and receiving. But those same people, if you're not careful, you can chase away those same people by making it so impossible for the hoops, for them, the hurdles that they have to jump, jump through. When the card flow comes forward, it's spirit reminding you that the right people, it will flow with them. But in order for things to be to flow, it can't be so rigid, rigid and tight and contained that people can't feel comfortable around you because they know that there is this pedestal that you've placed them on or this post that they have to reach that feels impossible for them. So Spirit is also wanting to share with you that from what I can sense is that these right connections, you're not going to have to force them in any way, shape or form that like minded people, whether like, let's say, for example, like you're an artist and you've been creating your whole life and then you bring your artwork to your family or to your friends or to your partner and they look at it and they're just like, these are just scribbles and you've wasted your time and there's no way I'm investing in your investing in your craft by buying you acrylic paints or supporting this because you need to go to school to become a mathematician or to become an accountant. Those are reasonable jobs. Those are reasonable expect expectations. That would be, let's say those are people who don't understand you. The energy there, the connection does not flow. It's not in alignment. However, if you brought your artwork to Salvador Dali, right? And he saw your artwork and he's just like, yo, what you created is so magical and so advanced. The lines that you did here and the aspect and how you captured light and color is beyond what we have ever experienced and you're brilliant. And then you just blow up in the artistic community because they effortlessly understand what you've created because they, they effortlessly embody it. 
whatever this is that is being removed from your table, you are going to have sitting at your table people who naturally get you. This is like if you're a natural video gamer, you're going to find people who love to video game they're, or play video games. They're just going to like, you're going to be talking about video games and they're adding on to it and getting naturally enthusiastic and excited because you guys vibe like you guys are on the same vibe you like the same things one of the examples that I gave in the original video and I I'm pretty sure I didn't say it already that I did say in the video that was lost I kind of saw like a connection where someone like this is an example but this could also be specific for someone someone who sings music it's like they find their partner who plays the piano so when the person's playing the piano something about the way that that person hits the keys inspires the person who sings and the person starts to change their melody in order to met, like vibe with what the person on the piano played the person on the piano hears this person change their melody and then all of a sudden they do a little riff and what they're creating just by them being who they are starts to flow into something so magical and what they create together is unlike anything anyone's ever seen the two of them together, it makes sense. People then start to get it. But separately, if they're placed in the wrong community or placed around people who don't appreciate them, that music can only go so far. Spirit wants a, a relationship or relationships with people who you vibe with and it naturally flows. So be open to this, like literally be open to this, okay? Um, these cards I have here, these two cards represent not what is being restored, but like what kind of messed it up. And the cards that you chose are the privileged lady and bad health. So what this is already showing me is that this is someone that I don't want to, I, it almost gives me someone who like is taking advantage of your gifts um, like they just don't appreciate it. Like this feeling of they don't appreciate it. The privileged lady doesn't necessarily have to be a bad card. It usually doesn't like isn't, but next to bad health, it's someone who this, whoever's sitting at the table, they just are adding a bad aura. Like they're not, they're not flowing. Like they're not, it's not into alignment. This could be a lady of course, but this is just someone who's privileged, who doesn't, they almost like expect a lot from you, but they don't want to give. When I see privileged like lady here, emphasis on lady, it's feminine energy. So it could be a male who's tapping into feminine energy of just like, oh, I want you to give me all the attention. I want you to tell me that I'm this. I want you, it's like feeding an ego or feeding into this person, but this person has not, they're not contributing a whole lot. So the natural gifts that you have, let's say it's love or attention or gift giving or quality time, that's that natural desire that you have that's like abundant within you starts to dry out because and put the, the situation in a bad circumstance because they're not contributing in any way, shape or form what they were like what they themselves are requiring. It's like what they have to give they or what they want to get. They don't want to give. So spirit is just kind of calling out these energies and just saying like, these are the same people that have been sitting at the table. It may not be everybody, but like whatever they try to contribute is either poisoned, it's not right, it's not balanced, it's not fair, it's not acceptable for whatever case. And spirit is pulling those people away or removing them or revoking access to you so that new fresh energy can come you know, be restored within your life and the right people, your faith in humanity, your faith in connections, your faith in good can all start to come back, not in a trickle, but in like a real flow. Okay. The next few, few cards we have here, guys, Lakshmi and we have fortune. So this is saying again, the level of abundance and security that lies within you. This is something that is advanced. This is something that is special. This is something that is unique. It's something that is precious. It's a treasure. It has to go to the right people. Clearly at the start of this video, I was seeing all the effort and the work that was being put in. It just, those are things that like, 
it's good to be generous, but generosity that keeps pouring literally turns into an energetic imbalance. It starts to turn into like diarrhea. Like it's just not good. Something needs to be tightened up and something needs to be solidified because it's just gonna like keep running in a way that actually makes you sick or poisons your gift or poisons your heart, okay? So this is showing that who you are, what you are is really, really worth it and valuable, but you have to be around the right people who are there to value it and won't take it advantage, won't take advantage of it or won't abuse you or your or your gifts. Adaptability is the next card that jumps out. And it's so interesting that this card is jumping out because it shows me that for some of you guys, you guys might have actually adapted to certain circumstances and spirit is really kind of cautioning you away from that so that's one message the second oh they don't want you to get too used to to people being this way or for you to constantly be in this type of vibe the privileged lady and the bad health vibe the next message that i'm getting with adaptability is like i feel like you're gonna learn to adapt to this or acclimate to this new world this new reality remember that was coming forward before like you're gonna have to learn how to adapt to this and for a lot of you guys you've been so stuck not because you wanted to it's not like you chose it but from just because you had to maybe let's say this is uh, someone who's in school right it's like everybody might have found their own found their own tribe but you're just feeling like you haven't found your friendship circle yet it's almost like you're going to have to like find it somewhere you're not expecting it and but when you find it when you get to know these people's character or when these people get to know your your character have you guys ever seen the movie garden state i don't know why that just came through but basically i don't remember the main character's name um but she's played by natalie portman she's like such a oddball technically like society might call her an oddball she had all these like cute little interests and hobbies i would be her friend but it's almost like she didn't really have like a whole bunch of friends. But the guy who play, who was played by Zach Braff, he knew like a lot of people, but he wasn't really connecting. So there was one person, the girl, who spent a lot of her time alone with her mom and her hamsters. <laughs> you guys have to watch this movie. It's so good. And then there's Zach Braff, who he like knows a lot of people and is popular but like he's not connecting with anybody. He's not even connected with himself. But when the two of them come together as different as they are, there's something pure about their relationship. The, the movie, I'm not gonna tell you how the movie ends, but like, just watch it. But pretty much what I'm saying is like, you guys have been adapting individually, like separately. But when you find your people, when you find your people or when you find your person, when you find your tribe, that it's going to be effortless. It's going to flow regardless of you guys' differences because that you each are going to see the gift in each other and you're going to work to contribute to it. Let's say it's a whole family. You might be merging into a new family or you might be connecting with your family in a new way. There's this really strong sense of like finding your, finding your people or finding your, you know. The next card, yeah. See, you have knowledge here, Athena. This is about you knowing it's like giving me jupiter energy versus mercury for those of you guys that don't know i'm also an astrologer right so subscribe to these youtube channels because i also talk about astrology here but it's about mercury versus jupiter mercury is what we learn while we're here on earth jupiter is the knowledge that we bring here on earth this is the knowledge that you came here on earth this is who you are as a person these are your natural innate gifts and talents that just make you who you are if you have a big heart if you're a generous person if you're a soft-spoken these are things that like you can't buy they're just who you are you can't fake them and if you try to fake them it can be only be faked for so long before the true you starts to show up so this is a like this card is your knowledge it's what makes you so unique it's what makes you so special it's what makes it's so good and great and solid for you and what makes you stand out not that you even have to stand out but to the right people the energy will just flow that's something that is i'm seeing here for you guys and i think also 
with the word knowledge coming here, I'm also hearing like you're unlearning certain behaviors. Some of you guys have been so self-reliant for so long because you haven't found your people that again, your reality has been like, there's only one of my kind. Imagine that you, that's actually not the case. You're just on the wrong planet. Like you're an alien who's on the wrong planet. Then you go to the right planet and everyone's like, yay, me, 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 me. <laughs> that's me, <laughs> that's me talking alien right now. But like, you probably like, just what the fuck did you just say? Pardon my French. But like, other aliens would be like, oh yeah, meet Mert, meet Mert, Mert. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't, right? Okay. So the other cards we have here, right. So we have Isis here, past life. It says, this situation involves your past life memories. Not only does this represent, for me, like, it. not only does this represent what I can tell like past life memories as far as like past life experiences that kind of add to your trauma here on earth that you have to like move past um, by like things that are like repetitive, like repeating cycles. But I'm also seeing like certain things. It's like this effortless recognition of someone. It's like when you in, when you're in it, when you're embodying it, you're like, yo, I feel not, not a sense of deja vu, but like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Or I have this, natural comfortability here. This is my home. This is who I am. So some of you guys, a lot of you guys are going back to that. For some of you guys, you're literally moving past, past life, like past people in your old reality that no longer are going to come with you into the, this next realm, into this next chapter in your life. Speaking of which, we have endings and beginnings with Kali Ma. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Exactly. These are old people. It's, it's not nothing against them, but it's just a part of the old book that you just closed and now you're starting a new book with new chapters in it. So there's something about you that has matured that's moving forward. And with that, yes, there is an ending here, but there's a whole new beginning and a whole community and you can always maybe say hi and go back and, but inst and visit, but don't implant yourself there, okay? That's kind of the message that's coming through. Diana, it says, focused intention, exactly. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. This is about you knowing what you want, knowing who you are, knowing what's out there and not giving up on it. If you don't give up on it, and if you have this innate feeling within you, you will find it. I know that for a lot of you guys, you're really questioning it. And again, that's the same thing that's being reborn, is that you've been staying in a space where your reality has started to trick you into thinking like this doesn't exist for me or this can't happen. And that's simply not the case. The old way is ending and the new reality is beginning and it has everything to do with, look at this, your arts. Sarasvati, the arts, it says express yourself through creative activities. Exactly. And then the other card that stood out, green tarot, delegating, green Terra start delegating it says ask others including me to help you instead of just trying to do everything by yourself do you remember in the beginning of the video i saw like the baking and it's like other people have this innate knowledge right this knowledge this card that we saw earlier of what to do and how to do it and when everyone's kind of contributing we start we can build something together something special we can create something together so that's what it is that i'm seeing you guys the sense of community that's coming through the next thing that next cards that came through calling in your soulmate exactly so as we pull those chairs away from the table, something is being called in and express your love. Imagine if I told, imagine if I came in here and expressed my love for astrology with the world and like no one appreciated it. Would I then go home to like, and like look at my studies and look at my knowledge and be like, it's not worth it for me to study this anymore. It's just maybe I'm on the wrong platform. Maybe I'm not using the right hashtags. Maybe I'm not whatever. But if I expressed my love to the right people, I would be celebrated for it, which is what I, I am at now. Before I could talk about astrology to I'm blue and blue in the face, but people would be like, Jess, you're here, you're hired to do emergency funding. Like we don't want to talk about astrology. But then I come on here and I'm sharing my passion with you guys. 
I called that in because it was embedded in my heart and my soul and my spirit. I didn't give up on that. So somewhere in your life, you guys are needing to have faith in what it is. Look at this. We have the star card, eight of wands, and the knight of cups. This says, have hope and have faith in your dreams. Speak it out into the, into the winds. And this will literally show up <clears throat> as an offering. And your people will find you. And it will happen so quick. Some of you guys have lost faith and you've lost hope. Don't do that. Don't, don't give up. And that can happen really quickly. But don't allow yourself to slip into that like mudslide of losing hope that what you want or the right people that they don't exist they do exist the right people are out there and it, when you like literally speak it write it do it manifest it it will come in whatever it is believe that don't be someone who forgets that don't be someone who doubts it and i know it can be a lot i can see it within the cards all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Once again, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up if it helped you. I talk about astrology every week, and if there's another pick a card reading or something that you would like me to shuffle on, please let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.